on the wilder scale, that flick definitely rates a nine. No way! I give it a 1.5. What do you mean? It was great. It was great action and great effects. Yeah. It's totally illogical, the whole thing. Since when does logic have anything to do with movies? <laughs> oh, man, you guys What's are with deep. you, man? Are you a critic? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I think there was way too much blood. Oh, you mean when the man takes out the 100 VC and sh bam, 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 bam? <laughs> Completely absurd. No, I like the part when the con walks by and the eye peeks out of the mud. Oh. Ew, that gave me the chill. Yeah, and he comes up behind him and dot. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hi, Nan. Hey, man. Hey. So, how is the movie? All right, if you're in a torture. <laughs> Alan, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> How you doing? All right. Well, why don't you come with us, Nance? We're gonna get some pizza. No, thanks. I uh, I gotta go meet Gail and Lisa for movies. Okay, see ya. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, Nancy. Bye, Nancy. Hey, Alan. I really think Nancy likes you. Hey, what's with you, man? A real live, breathing female is hot for you. What are you waiting for? Marilyn Monroe. Could take a while. Let me handle my own love life, all right? What love life? Shoot some of the heads. That's it. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh, hi. We, uh, let's see. Large pizza with pepperoni. And anchovies on that pepperoni. No way. No anchovies, no. just pepperoni. <laughs> Come on. They're so tasty. Alan, nobody eats anchovies. <laughs> I know hundreds of mature individuals with sophisticated palates who love anchovies. They want me. Alan. <laughs> I hope you girls brought some cash. <laughs> what for? Well, we sprung for the movie. So? So my man here and I decided that you girls ought to start paying your own way, that's all. Uh, oh, well, forget you, pal. Ooh. <laughs> what do you think, man? Have we just witnessed the death of women's liberal wives? Mm. Fine, okay. Deborah. Oh, well, you girls better cough it up. Especially if you want to go to that big league basketball game next week. Well, just maybe I've been thinking of going with someone else. Oh, yeah? Well, then I'll see you there, because that's one game I ain't missing. Why is that? Didn't you hear the sports report today? No. Greg Davison comes out of the closet. Tells some reporter he's queer. Go on, Davison? Yeah, I've been all the papers by tomorrow. Who's this? It's that big basketball star. Oh, you mean the tall one with the mustache? He's cute. He's <laughs> queer as a $3 bill. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't stop him from making the all-star team. Ooh. All right, $7.60. And that's all you get. So, uh, how are you ladies at Washington Pizza Pans, anyhow? You guys are gonna have to carry me out. <laughs> I will. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Be right back. <laughs> So, you have fun? I have fun. Yeah, it was a blast, I guess. The next time, let's not go over anything. Guy. Hey, just make believe I'm part of the upholstery. Damn it, Alan. You know, I can't make a move without you always breathing down my neck. Maybe I'll just get some fresh air. Maybe that would be a good idea. What's wrong now? Nothing, all right? I just don't feel like it. Sweet. Just the two of us? <laughs> Promise. Gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Sweet dreams. <laughs>
Anything interesting in there? Uh, just some squiggly things swimming around in the water. Diphilobothrium latum. Oh. What's that? It's a fish tapeworm. Come on, Mr. Powell. You played soccer in college. Right, center forward. Yeah, but were you any good? Well, we were fifth my senior year in the NCAA. Yeah, what division? Four triple eight? <laughs> division one, smart guy. You guys remember Phil Bloodworth? Yeah, Bloodworth. He was the uh, forward for L.A., right? Right, he was the captain of our team. Decent. Yeah, I think he's a doctor somewhere now. Hey, no kidding. You know something, Mr. Powell? This is a side of you we never knew before. Well, you never asked, Todd. All right, everybody, let's get started. Chapter 9, The Wonderful World of Paramecium. Well, you know, if you got the distributor wet, that could have been what happened. I'm not sure, though. It's gonna cost about 50 bucks if it's not that. I swear I'm gonna jump this clunker. Wait, let me try one more thing. Hey! Find a rock station, will ya? Sick of that junk. That junk happens to be jazz, and it's been around a lot longer than rock and roll. I don't care what it is. Hey, why do you try so hard to be different, huh? I mean, your whole style, man, it's spooky. And you're the only guy I know who listens to that stuff. Well, I don't have to hear it, so lose it. It's your radio. The plugs are OK. I think the timing's off. Perfect. I'll sweat it. I got a timing light in the garage. I'll get it. I need to feel useful. So what's the matter with you? Well, I think you got that backwards. What's the matter with you? You always go ripping into your friends for no good reason? All right. You want me to spell it out? Vicky and I are history. Official? Yeah, official. Here it is. Sorry, Al. I had no right dumping on you. Hey, what are friends for? <laughs> you guys. So she says we ought to start seeing other people. In Vicky's case, other people happens to be Gary Brown. Oh, man, the guy's a jerk. But he's got bucks. I still can't believe it. I mean, you guys were so permanent. Hey, Mom. Hi, kids. Hey, Miss B. Maybe she'll come back. <sighs> Women. I mean, who needs them? Oh, no offense, Mrs. B. Look who's talking. You haven't even been to first base, Alan. Play off, Kirk. I used to know a boy just like you, Alan. Come on. He's probably doing time, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, he was a late bloomer, that's all. Oh, that's Dad. I'm blocking the driveway. So, uh, whatever happened to this guy anyway? The late bloomer. I married him. that next to Deborah? Uh, that's Gina. She's uh, new. Deborah met her in civics class. What, are you interested? Gina. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 
And rest. You get a load of this guy. Looks like they inflated him with a tire pump. That's pure muscle, pal. Something you don't have to worry about. Look, I'm perfectly happy with what nature gave me. Thank you. Some of these guys are grotesque. <laughs> they look like Cro-Magnons. What do you think? Devastating. What's with this intense training? You trying to score points with Gina or what? Yeah, well, we're going out Saturday. First impressions are very important. Okay. What? <laughs> oh, God! It's naked men! Check this out! <laughs> now, this is disgusting. What some guys will do for a buck, huh? It's a real fag mag. Where'd you get it? I bought it. There's a great weightlifting article in there. I mean, the only reason I kept it around is because I knew you guys would be turned on by it. Could I borrow it for the evening? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. I'm uh, gonna throw it out unless there's any objections. Well, I'm out of here. Well, how about a lift to my house? Hey, when are you gonna get some wheels, man? And I don't mean a new bicycle. I'm saving. I figure I should have enough by Christmas. Wanna buy my car? Yeah, you got change of a buck. See you, Todd. Adios. Yeah, see ya. Hey, did you get those tickets? Yep. Look, I'll, I'll pay you tonight, all right? I gotta bum the bucks off my dad. Ah, oh, sure. Hey, uh, should be a good game tonight, huh? You think that guy Davis is gonna have the guts to show up? Hey, he's got it. He's under contract. Yeah, but he could be out posing for one of those fag mag covers. Yeah, right. Hey, uh, my car tonight, right? Oh, yeah, I want to log some backseat time with Gina. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, look, I'll see you. I want to catch Gina before the bell. Good game, huh? Terrific. Even if they did lose by 30 points. <laughs> What do you expect with a fairy like Davison on the team? I mean, he scored 19 points. His season average was 29. Ever since he told the world he's gay, they've been laying for him. You watch, they're gonna run him right out of the league. No way, he's too good. He's a queer man. There's no room for people like that in professional sports. Hey, take it easy. I thought that man behind us was gonna punch you. I was waiting for him. What's the matter? Don't you think I could have handled him? He would have flattened you. Shut up, Alan. Todd, that man had every right to be upset. You were yelling queer and fag really loud. He had his kids with him, too. <clears throat> what, you got a problem? Hey, uh, look, uh, we're gonna skip into pizza. Just drop us off at Gina's, okay? Fine. I'll take Alan home, too. Deborah and I have other plans anyways. you bring me here? You said you wanted to be alone. Todd, I never said I wanted to come here. This place has a reputation, you know. Well, we've been going together for a year now. Don't you think it's about time we got up here? Todd, don't! What's the matter? I thought this is what you wanted. Well, it's not! Why are you acting like this? Like what? So aggressive, so macho all of a sudden. This isn't right. I thought you knew me better. Todd, I love you. I just don't want it to be like this. Well, I guess I don't know you because I thought you wanted a man to love. I do! Being rough and vulgar has nothing to do with being a man. What are you trying to prove? Hey, I don't have to prove anything.
Cut it out! I think you better just cool it down. Take it to the showers now. Good. Now, give me the ball. Come on, let's go over here. Let's set up some drills. Goalie in the net. Hey, what's with you, man? You know, you've been acting really weird. Forget about it. Uh-uh. I gotta know, are you on something or what? You know me better than that. Yeah, I'm not so sure anymore. You know, I've been thinking about it, Todd. You've been acting really weird ever since... Ever since what? Ever since we found that magazine in your room. Well, I told you where I got it. I don't believe you. It's like all those muscle magazines and posters of guys with enormous bodies. They turn you on, don't they? You're nuts. Yeah, well, tell me it's not true. I don't have to listen to this. I'm captain of the soccer team. I've been dating the same hey, girl. Hey, Greg Davison's a captain of his team, too, man. It doesn't mean a thing. Yeah, but you ought to get some help because your brain is blurred. I, I can't believe this. I mean, not you. You were hiding a fag mag in your room, man. I saw it. I'm starting to remember some other stuff, too. Like, uh, you had this scrapbook of some linebacker. I mean, it was like you were in love with the guy. Hey, Vicky told me Debbie's been wondering if you're ever gonna spend two minutes alone with her. I mean, look at you. You're scared to death. You're sweating bullets someone's gonna find out. Shut up! Hey, I thought of you like a brother, man. God only knows what's going through your mind. Kirk. You hey, listen? no! Hey, just back off! Just say it, Al. Come on, what did Kirk tell you about me? He didn't tell me anything. Just go home. Leave. I have an uncle who's gay. What? He's just 23 now, so... So what are you telling me for? So, I'm old enough to remember how it was for him when he first told someone. He was 19 when he came out of the closet. The family was shocked, embarrassed, all those things. They sent him to see a shrink to cure him. Didn't work. He'll always be gay. He lives with another man now. So what? Hey, Todd, I don't have all the answers, but one thing I do know is he's a lot better off now than when he tried to keep it a secret. Yeah, well, I don't know anyone who's gay. I mean, what I don't understand is how do they know they're gay? How can anyone be sure? How does anyone know they're straight? It's something down deep that tells you, I guess. When I was 10 or 11, I was a big fan of Randy Fincannon, the football player. I cut out all his photographs. I collected all the articles I could find. I made this scrapbook. All kids have their heroes. Yeah, I know that. But this was more. It was like I had a crush on him. I still do. I don't know, it's all so confusing. So mixed up right now. It's like I have to play this part. Be a real man, project this image that everybody expects me to be. 
But all the while, my feelings are pulling me in other directions. But I can't let them because everyone says it's wrong. I mean, do you have any idea what I'm talking about? Yeah, I think so. Now, I don't know what to do, where to go, who to talk to. Hey, Todd, uh, I don't do such a good job managing my own life. But it just seems to me that no one can be really happy with himself unless he feels free to be himself. Oh, no, I'm just confused right now, okay? I'm gonna work through this. And don't tell anybody what I said. I, I mean it, Al. You gotta swear it. Control. Yeah, I, uh, I brought back those cassettes I borrowed. I thought you might need them. Thanks. Todd, I, uh, I know I came down any kind of hard the other day. The, the thing... Well, what do you want, Kirk? Just want things like they were, that's all. You gotta tell me it's not true. Tell me you're not gay. I'm not gay. I guess that's not what I needed to hear after all. Yeah, well, I got things to do, so I'll see you later. Will it work? I don't know. It's only seven hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing here. Hey, let's go get Todd. Check out that lot over on Auburn. Pass. What's going on, Kirk? You know. Tell me. Ask Todd. I'm asking you. He's queer, Alan. You don't know that. Well, he's not like us. Me, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look. You're his buddy. You hang out with him more than anybody now. What do you think people are gonna say about you when they find out about him? Kirk, you're his best friend. Correction, used to be. I'm steering clear. You guys have been like identical twins since second grade. You're right. So why didn't he tell me, huh? I've lost something, Alan. It's gone for good and it hurts. But I can't let Todd pull me down with him. Deborah, where were you? I forgot. Forgot? We were supposed to meet out on the steps. I know. Um, Todd, there's something that... Um... Look, I wanted to apologize to you about the other night. Uh, Todd, um, somebody told me that they said you were gay. Who? It doesn't matter who I... I told him it wasn't true. I mean, I would know, right? Why would anybody say something like that? Deborah. <laughs> I... Um... I'm gonna be late. I have to go. Say anything? Hey, Gina might have. I uh, told her. Gina, who else, Kirk? Hey, stop denying it. I'm warning you, Wilder. One more word out of your what? filthy mouth. What do you think you can do? You I, I can't believe it. My best get friend. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Kirk, you talking hey. about me? Hey, that's enough. All right. Hey, what's this all about? You just keep your faggot heads off me, Powers.
Hello, Mrs. Evans. This is Todd. Is Deborah home? Oh, Todd. Um, Deborah can't come to the phone right now. Well, could you have her call me then? Okay, I'll tell her you called. Goodbye. <laughs> Hey! Did your mother like it? She love it. Huh? What is it, your 20th anniversary? Yep. Yeah, the big 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll make yourself useful. Thanks. Hey, what's Kurt been up to? I don't know. I haven't seen him lately. The two guys have a fight? Uh-uh. Hey, Dad. You ever know anybody who was homosexual? What? No, nah, just curious. Have you ever known anybody? I knew a few. The first guy I ever knew was back in high school. The last person you'd ever suspect. Well, how do people treat them when they found out? Pretty brutal. In fact, things got so bad the guy had to change schools. Well, how did you treat him? Well, I'm afraid I was just as guilty as anybody else. Yeah, we taunted him, you know, teased him, made endless jokes. But see, back then, <laughs> You had to do those things so people wouldn't think you were just like him. Guy lost all his friends because no one dared be seen with him. Why, you know someone? Yeah. Not Kirk, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is anyone I know? Nah, you don't know. I'll catch you later. Right. Hey, Todd. What's up? What do you got going tonight? Nothing. My parents are out of town, so I'm just going to hang out at the house. You know. Oh. No big plans or anything like that. Hi, oh, sweeties. Come on, don't Alan. pay any attention to him. Alan, oh. Can I talk to you for a minute? I'll catch you later, Al. No, so, um, Todd, wait. Alan, I got, I got these tickets to the ranchers, and I was wondering, uh, do you want to go or not? What? Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks. No, I, I got things doing tonight. Can you tell me something? Is it me or is it you? Huh? No big deal. Forget I even thought about mentioning it, right? I mean, why should I be upset, right? And what am I talking to you for anyway? Nancy! What? What time? <laughs> you know, Bowers just didn't come out of the closet. Kurt Waller found him out. <laughs> hey, Mr. Powell. Don't be late for class, guys. Oh, yeah, right, right. How's it going? Uh, do you patch things up with Kirk? No, sir. You know, besides being a great biology teacher, I'm a school counselor. The principal gave me my own office. I have a desk, two chairs, everything. The students who are having problems, they want to come in and talk. Yeah, well, if I see any, I'll let them know. Yeah, well, my door's always open. If it's easier, I'm in the book. Deb. I'd like to talk. Well, it's really hard to talk about. I mean, I, I really don't even understand it myself. Todd, does it mean that you'd rather 
be with a boy than with a girl. That you'd rather kiss a boy than kiss me. Love and sex, that's only part of it. But see, the, the feelings I have for other guys are the same feeling most guys have for girls. Then why did you date me? Why did you tell me that you loved me and then make me love you? Because I wanted it to be true. Because guys date girls and I wanted to be normal. And I do love you, in a way. Just not the way you want me to. Well, then there must be something wrong with me. Deborah, no. It has nothing to do with you. It's, you gotta believe that. It's got everything to do with me. I guess there's no more us, is there? Guess what? No, don't guess, because you'll never guess. I got a date with Nancy. Well, actually, she got the date, but I'm in. <laughs> so, maybe you and Deborah should come. Deborah won't go. Why not? Guess. Deborah knows? I told her. I don't know, Al. Everything's different now. Bunch of jerks. You better stay clear of me from now on. Why? Because these guys are a bunch of pig-headed morons? Todd, I don't care what other people think. Hey, I'm poisoned now. And I'm poisoned everyone around me. Can't you see that? Still no answer, huh? Nancy, do you mind if we cut it short tonight? No, I don't mind. You're worried about him, aren't you? Yeah. Look, are the, are the rumors true? I mean, is Todd gay? What difference does it make? Todd is my friend. Look, it's okay if it's true. It's not a crime. Are you afraid I'm gonna hate him making some cool joke? We're not all like Kirk Weiler and some of his pals. What about your friends? What do they think? Now they've heard the rumors. No one's laughed or made fun of him. Look, some of us are mature enough to know the world is made up of different kinds of people. I'm not afraid of those differences. I got an uncle who's gay. I remember how it used to be with him. He took some pills once. He almost died. It's terrible. Yeah, well, Todd was pretty depressed today. And his folks are out of town. Let's go to his house. The lights are on. He must be home. Todd! He said he was staying home tonight. Chair. 
Let me fair box here. Let me some. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alan, I would never do that. I wouldn't even think of doing that. Uh, I don't think I've ever been happier to see anyone in my whole life. Come on, help me out with these burgers. <laughs> How much does plate glass cost these days, anyway? <laughs> Hey, Mr. Powell. I need to talk to you. Sure. I guess you've heard all the rumors about me. I drove by the gay community center today. Did you go in? No, I just sat outside and watched for a while, and then I came right over here. Well, I'm glad that you did. I mean, I'm not sure why I came. I guess I just want someone to tell me that I'm normal, I'm okay, that there's nothing to worry about. <sighs> Look, Todd, I'm not a therapist. I'm just a school counselor. And you have to understand, I can't treat people. I can just listen and advise and hopefully send them to someone who can help. Now, you might want to think about seeing a psychologist. Before? To be cured? No, you're not sick. Just emotionally, you're having trouble dealing with all this. And that's nothing to be ashamed of. But you should talk to somebody who can answer the questions that you're having about yourself. Questions? Have I got plenty of them? Like, where did I go wrong? I mean, why can't I be like everybody else? Todd, if you are homosexual, it doesn't mean your life is over or you're condemned to some bleak, perverted existence. All it means is that you're going to be living a different lifestyle. And, and there's no reason it can't be very dignified and fulfilling. Come on, what's the worst thing that could happen if people find out? Are your parents going to stop loving you? Will they? Well, it's hard to imagine that. Are you going to lose all your friends? I already have. Some, anyway. Well, that's because of their own hang-ups. But you don't have to lose all your dreams. I mean, you can live a great life. You can fall in love, and you can be as happy as you want to be. But I have all these conflicting feelings. Like all this talk about AIDS really scares me. You know, AIDS is not a gay plague. Straight people get it, too. It's a sexually transmitted disease, but if you're responsible and you take the proper precautions, you don't have to worry about that. And if you're still concerned, you can go to a doctor or you go to the local health clinic. They'll give you information. If I'm responsible, what does that mean? Mr. Powell, I don't even know any homosexuals. Your parents have no idea, do they? No. I don't know how I can tell them. I couldn't stand to see them disappointed. Your self-esteem is critical now, Todd. Now, you can't expect people to accept you if you can't accept yourself. You know, Alan said something just like that. He said I could never be happy until I could be myself. Yeah, hey, well, Alan's a very wise young man. But Kirk ran scared. He couldn't deal with it. 
You know, you two guys were close during a time when kids really are confused about sex. You were like brothers. And now he's probably asking himself why. He's afraid for feeling the way he did about you. Look, go talk to your parents and let them help you through this. And then go to Kirk and make him understand that he doesn't have to feel threatened by you. Kirk, wait up. We've got to talk. We don't need to do anything. I think we do. I talked to Mr. Powell, and he made me decide to face up to who I am. Good for you. And who I am, Kirk, is a human being with feelings and ambitions and desires just like you. And if I don't start liking myself, my life isn't going to be worth living. Oh, sounds like a personal problem to me. What do you want from me, Kirk? Do you want me to tell you that this whole thing was a joke? That I'm not gay? Well, I can't. Would it be better for you if I just crawled off somewhere and hid out of sight? Well, I won't do that, because I've got a life to live just like you. That's fine. Just stay out of mind. Remember that summer at Camp Kirk when we were younger? Remember the little games that we played? We took our clothes off and experimented. We were curious about our bodies. Kirk, could it be that you're thinking about that and you're feeling guilty? And maybe somewhere deep down inside you're worried that you're just a little bit like me? It's not true, Kirk. What we did wasn't sick or ugly. In fact, it wasn't even unusual. Experimentation like that is done all the time. It's part of growing up. It's normal. Kirk, you're not gay. You're straight as an arrow. And that's normal for you. And what I am is normal for me. Now, I'm not asking you to call what I am good. But don't call me sick or perverted, because there's a big difference. Now, life's going to be hard enough. And I don't need old friends making it any harder. OK, maybe we can't be best friends. But do we have to be worst enemies? Who needs enemies?